Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. Today we're just gonna do some simple arm movements, some working out. Uh, this video is not necessarily gonna focus on anything. We've all seen arm workouts for the last 500 years. So we're just gonna work out, maybe spend a little time together and uh, enjoy some working out and some, maybe some discussions along the way and something. We'll just see what happens, guys. Right now I'm gonna start with standing simultaneous dumbbell curls. I'm just starting out with 20s and we'll go from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Got some 25s now. Let's do some 25s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so we're heading up to 30 pounds. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, got a lot on my mind uh, past few days. I have a family member, a very, very close family member who has been diagnosed with terminal cancer. And uh, it's just a real sad situation. Uh, they lost, uh, it's my brother-in-law, one of my brother-in-laws. Uh, he and my sister, they actually lost their daughter in December 2019, my niece, at the age of 31. And uh, the sweetest girl in the entire world that you would have ever met in your life. Struggled from birth. Uh, she had a lot of problems. And, uh, and now this happens. And uh, it's just been uh, on my mind and my heart like the past week however long it's been now and uh, uh, just not been easy you know trying to keep my mind on things and and all that kind of stuff and uh, but we got to keep moving on my sister knows that and uh, my brother-in-law knows that and uh, you know he's been my brother-in-law since I was a little kid so that's how that's how long I've known him and uh, I've loved him since the day I met him. He's always been good to our family, great person, you know, no complaints. So if you got someone in your life that's, you know, dear to you and all that, make sure you let them know. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your friends and family while you can, because again, you, you never know what's gonna happen. So let's move up to the 30s. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and get up to thirty fives, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you seen my, uh, if you watched my little short video I did this morning where I was talking about everybody needs to be responsible for themselves, uh, it kind of touches with this, what's going on, and you know we got to be responsible and make sure that we go to the doctors, take care of ourselves as best we can with our nutrition and not doing things like smoking and drinking and drugs and uh, you know, all this other garbage that you can do. Uh, and this also 
you know, touches base, as some of you might know, uh, with my oldest son. He has diabetes, like the bad kind, and he don't take care of himself. And I know within five years, I'm most likely going to be burying my oldest son. So, and uh, he grew up on the Great American Diet, which is trash. But I also am not holding that against his mom and me because he became an adult many years ago. You can make decisions for yourself. And once you find out that you have diabetes and it's the lesser of the diabetes, you have a chance to turn your life around right there. And he's chosen not to. So it's not my fault. Uh, you know, you gotta take responsibility for yourself. And if, if you don't take care of your health, number one, first thing in your life, where are you at? Money's nothing. What's money mean when you don't have your health? So let's move on to 35s. I mean, let's move on to 40s. I've already done 35s. So let's get the 40s going. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So, you know, you got these situations that pop up concerning health. And then you have situations pop up with everybody needing help. You know, we don't mind helping people, but there comes a time when it goes from helping to supporting. And people don't want to take responsibility for themselves and do what they need to do to support themselves. Instead, they're falling back on people, you know, that are struggling themselves, but they don't care because they just, they want help all the time. And uh, so we're dealing with stuff like that as well. And, you know, you probably think the body beatdown has it so easy but these things, you know, are in my life just like anyone else's. And, uh, and this isn't uh, to be a downer of a video. It's to kind of maybe open some eyes, maybe, you know, and also show you that, you know, everything's not just sunshine and rainbows over here. That we all struggle and we all have things we're going through. So, let's get some more weight going. Got the 45s. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, uh, the economy and everything in our country, and I don't care to get on all that kind of crap too much, but you know, it's putting a strain and a stress on everybody. You know, used to, I didn't mind going to the store. I enjoy being able to go buy foods and things that we need and want. But now, anytime I go to the store, I'm pissed off. You know, I look at prices and then by the time I check out and, you know, pay, I'm pissed off. So, uh, you can see how people are losing their minds out there. You can see how people are losing their cool out there sometimes. And, uh, you know, I don't blame people sometimes for that because, you know, we're getting hit. We're getting hit hard, guys. And uh, I don't know if things are going to get any better. And then you go and put fuel in your car so you can go to the store. And uh, you're, getting, you're getting hit there real hard. I mean, hard. Let's grab some 50s. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, this video has a little bit of a serious, you know, tone to it. But sometimes it's needed. Sometimes you just gotta let people see how real it is and uh, cut through the uh, the smoke and mirrors, the, the facade 
the you know the smiles and dimples that we try to put on behind the camera in front of the camera somewhere you know life sucks man but you try to stay positive and you try to do the best you can and keep pushing through as best you can and that's something that I always teach and preach about <clears throat> You know, if you hear me a lot of times on my videos, you'll hear me say, inspire someone today along the way, including yourself, because you mean more than anyone else in this world. And uh, that's the truth. You gotta inspire yourself to do well and to take care of yourself before you can take care of anything else out there. Uh, you can't take care of any other problems until you take care of yourself. You just can't do it. And that's why I continue to push forward and keep doing what I'm doing uh, on a daily basis. You know, all this stuff going through my mind, going to bed thinking about it, waking up in the middle of the night thinking about it, waking up in the morning thinking about it, and all throughout the day thinking about all the bad stuff that's going on. You know, knowing, that, knowing what's fixing to happen to my brother-in-law and what my sister and her son is going through so and knowing about the economy and how things are just cruddy and my wife's epilepsy and my wife smokes and eats garbage all day and my son with his diabetes it's gonna kill him and my wife's parents next door who uh, have had heart problems and cancer and all that stuff just here recently and stents put in and, and um, on crazy medications and they always need help with something money or something or and, and it's, it's there's a whole lot going on <laughs> so you got to stay motivated and you got to keep driving forward to do the best you can <clears throat> now I just went up to 50s I'm gonna figure something else to do uh, I may do a couple more sets with the 50s just to strain my arms a little bit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Maybe do a couple more sets of those. So on to uh, something a little bit different, a little bit more lighthearted. <clears throat> When I started my journey back to working out in early 2021, my shoulder was still complete garbage at the time. But I thought I needed to do something, something, at least something, to get some weight training in. So even when my shoulder was complete still garbage, I was thinking, hey, I'm going to get a, a adjustable bench and uh, some adjustable dumbbells and I'm just gonna get some strength training like that and uh, see how that goes well by the time I started shopping around for stuff my shoulder stopped hurting to that degree completely it's not better but it don't hurt like it used to believe me so in my mind I instantly went from something simple to something crazy. Let me get a set down here. 50 pound. One, two, three, four. So in true fashion, like I always do, I went from zero to a hundred. My mind went from just lifting some dumbbells and getting a little bit of weight training in with some good adjustable dumbbells. 
all the way to, okay, I'm fixing a lift and go, go full speed. Well, here I am, I'm over a year in now, and I've gained some size, I've gained some strength, I've gained a lot of muscle, I've lost some fat, I'm feeling good, but at the same time, I'm torn because I'm back to my 20 year old self where I'm thinking I'm going to look like a professional bodybuilder to some degree. Whether it's classic physique or open or whatever class you want to look at. That's where I go to instantly in my mind and I know I'm not going to look like that. It don't matter what I eat. It don't matter what I do. Number one, I'm 50. Number two, I don't do drugs. You know, uh, PEDs, uh, performance enhancing drugs, uh, steroids, and I don't do testosterone, I don't do anything. I know I'm not going to get that physique of a professional bodybuilder or anywhere near it, anywhere close. But yet I, I train like that's what I'm going for. Speaking of, let me do another set of 50s. Most people don't even do 50 pound dumbbell curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. much less four sets of 10. So my mind is completely wired on this track that I wish it was not wired on. My ideal physique is Kevin Sorbo from Hercules the Legendary Journeys TV show. Then my next physique would be Jean-Claude Van Damme in Bloodsport. Then my next physique goal would be uh, young Arnold Schwarzenegger. But you're thinking, God, he was a professional huge bodybuilder. But in many aspects, he pales in comparison to today's bodybuilders. He compares more with classic physique of today. So then you have classic and then you have open class which are the ginormous crazy guys. So my mind, a big, big part of my problem when I work out is what am I going for? You know, and here I am deadlifting 425 pounds, killing myself doing that. I'm trying to squat 400 pounds. I'm trying to bench 400 pounds. You know, that's the your three main lifts. I'm trying to do all this heavy stuff, and where's it going to get me? It's going to get me strong, sure, but where am I going? My physique is not going to, my physique is not going to blow up. I'm past that point. And this might help you on your journey as well, because it's a struggle to know where you want to go, what's actually achievable, and doing it and sticking to that. But again, here I am curling 50 pound dumbbells for sets of four, uh, sets of uh, 10, four sets of 10. That's a lot. Most people don't do that. So now I'm gonna figure something else out to do with my biceps and I still got triceps to do. And uh, I'm actually gonna cut the video here uh, and then we'll get back with you in just a minute when I figure out what I'm doing. So uh, I hope you're enjoying so far and uh, you know, with the topics of discussion and all that stuff. So hang in there, guys. So for my next bicep movement, I'm going to do five sets of some easy bar curls. I went ahead and put 100 pounds on the bar for my first set. The bar weighs 15 pounds, so that's 115.
Now with this movement here, the only reason that I'm going to this movement is because I want to go up heavy. I'm going to lower my reps. My form isn't going to be exactly perfect. But I want to put my biceps under more stress than what I got with the 50 pound dumbbells. So, and yeah, I have some 80 pound dumbbells, but I'm not ready for those. And I have some 100 pound dumbbells, and I'm sure not ready for those. So, just did that set of these, and uh, we'll put a little bit more on. Tonight I am splurging just a bit. Kind of, with supper. I don't eat noodles and all that stuff anymore, but I got in the mood for some spaghetti. So, I got some whole wheat noodles, which aren't great, but I guess better than your standard typical floury noodles. A couple of cans of some spaghetti sauce. I got mushrooms, onions, peppers, some Italian parsley or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I just seen it and got it. And uh, a couple other things I don't remember. That might be it. I'm going to make me a nice little spaghetti dinner. and We have a salad made up that we made last night. So I'm giving myself a little bit of something different. But I'm making it with... Uh, super lean uh, ground turkey, uh, 98 or 99 percent fat free, you know, lean ground turkey. So I put 20 pounds on here, so that should be about 135, which is a lot. I'm surprised I did that that well. I'll go to 145. And that's pretty stupid. That's really heavy for me. I've done more back years ago. Not a lot more though. Should be 145. I'm gonna get about two reps. Again, this is to put my muscles under the stress they need to grow. subject of this video, like I stated in the beginning, is more about discussion than showing an arm workout. Again, we've all seen this a thousand times. I'm going to do the 145 with one more rep, or one more set, and uh, that's how you really shock your muscles right there, is just do that max kind of a couple of times, a couple of sets. Watch your back on these because barbell curls can hurt your back. And that don't matter if you're strict or cheat. You can hurt your back real easy. <clears throat> Since I did that, I'm going to do my last set with the same. But Michael, you need to do a lot of reps, 10 to 12, maybe 15 reps. Well, with my dumbbell curls, I did sets of 10. And a couple of the lighter sets were 15. 
So this here, I wanted to go heavy so I can really shock my arms and give them that heavy weight that they need to grow. You're not gonna get 20 inch arms with light weights. I don't care if you do 100 reps each set. Light weights are not gonna get you 20 inch arms. I'm not looking for 20 inch arms, but maybe I am because like I said, I never know what I'm gonna do. I never know what I want. I'm just happy to be working out. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy I'm not the one that's sitting in that hospital, number one, on my deathbed, and number two, you know, uh, having to look at someone on their deathbed, my wife or kids or whatever. I'm happy to be where I'm at. strip the weights off this bar and we'll get on triceps and uh, maybe some more topic of discussion of something. We'll talk about something. Stick around guys. Alright guys, my first tricep movement that I've decided to go with is just a straight bar uh, press down. I got 70 pounds on the machine. Uh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, I don't know how heavy I'm going to go up on this. This isn't the most comfortable movement anymore for me. Uh, it does put a little bit of pressure in that on my elbows that I don't exactly like. But I'm still going to do it. And uh, I'll go up a little ways. So, anyway, I know this is a super long video. And, most of you ain't gonna watch it anyway, but you know, I gotta make videos for myself and if I feel like I need to have a video that's two hours long, that's what I'll do. So, I got uh, things I like to do, I got things that I might wanna talk about and that's what this channel's for. It's not just about showing someone working out, it's about discussions, talking about things, mental, physical, emotional, all kind of things and not just for me it's for you too for you to leave in the comments and if you don't feel comfortable leaving something in the comments send me an email at mikeyson71 m-i-k-i-e-s-o-n 71 at gmail.com and we can go back and forth in there and talk about whatever you want to talk about so but just know that if you do open up on the comments it might can help other people. It might can help me. So, let's, uh, let's throw um, a 10 on each side. We'll go up to 90 right now. And that's not gonna be pretty because, well, it's heavy for me. You'll notice with this movement here, there are several kind of variations you can do of how your body uh, leans into it or leans back. Maybe you're doing your arms like this, or maybe you're doing your arms like this, or maybe you're up over it like this or like this. It just depends on how you want to do it and how you can move the weight. And each little variation you do is going to change it up just a little bit and hit something just a little bit different. So don't be scared to uh, experiment. Just be mindful of your posture. Make sure you keep your torso nice and tight and you're nice and 
uh, in control of what you're doing. Even if it looks like you're dying on the outside, try to keep control on the inside. And that's what I'm going to look like here for sure. 90 pounds is getting up there for me on this. Nice and slow and pretty much in control though, I would say. Just try to get as much of an extension and squeeze in them triceps as you can. And also, your, your width on the bar also is a determining factor of how the movement's gonna feel as well. So, just try to remember these little things. I'm gonna go up to 100, guys. I'm gonna put a five on each side. That's probably where I'll cap out. Now I'm just going to work my way back down. I'm going to go back down to 90. Then after that I'll go back down to 70. I don't always do that. But I feel with this movement here, there's no sense in me putting my elbows under that much tension anymore. Uh, for another set or two. Take some tens off. Back down to seventy. And if you made it this far, uh, my buddy on uh, McBean's Scottish Fitness. Uh, John, if you made it this far, if you happen to watch this, uh, I do have your shirt and I've had it now for a couple of weeks. It's just a matter of getting my butt to the post office and mailing it off and I apologize for that. Just a uh, kind of life. It, every day goes by so quick that it, it becomes another week. So I'll try to get your shirt out to you uh, as soon as I can. Maybe even tomorrow, if I can keep it in my brain. 
So uh, I'll let you know if I get that done. And uh, for any of you out there who want a shirt, I do have some available. Uh, you can find a video. Uh, I did a video uh, that's showing my new shirts. Uh, they're $30. Um, anywhere here in the lower 48, 50, 60, whatever states we got down here now. And uh, if you want them shipped somewhere else, it'll cost probably a little bit extra, probably another $10 or so. Uh, You'll notice a lot of times on these pull downs, on these press downs, that I don't come all the way up to here very often. Because when I do that, I'm putting too much delt into it. If I keep it more about here, about in this area, I know I'm keeping more of the pressure and tension on my triceps, and my triceps are blasted right now. I mean, big time. So, and that's what you want. If there's one bit of advice I could give you though, and I love my machine, I love this high-low, it's a Titan Fitness, and there's 10,000 brands out there. They're all the same. Um, one thing I wish that I would not have skimped on and uh, paid a little bit more on, quite a bit more, is the plate select, high and low pulley, where you got the pan and the stack of plates. Uh, Titan has one that has 300 pounds uh, you know, a 300 pound uh, stack on it. And even though it costs quite a bit extra, being able to just go pop, pop, pop and get the weights you want that quick without having to load and unload plates, uh, that'd be just amazing. So I wish I wouldn't have skimped out on that. I wish I would have uh, just saved my money and got the better option. But I've always been okay with plate loaded. But, you know, uh, if you can afford the other option, try to get the other option. But make sure it has very, uh, the bare minimum 300 uh, on the weight stack. So, and I wish it was a little taller. So, I always hit my head on that bar. Um, I still got two more movements to do for the tricep unless I decide to do one movement for 10 sets. So that's what we got so far. <sighs> I had in mind to do skull crushers, but my triceps are so burnt right now, I don't know if I can do skull crushers. I know I can't do the 100 pound dumbbells right now. So I'll figure something out. Let me think for a minute and we'll get back to the video. Stick around guys. All right. I decided to do the uh, one arm overhead extension. And uh, see how that goes. So I got, I'll start off with the 30s. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not going to go extra reps because I don't want to wear myself out because I still got plenty to get through. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll go up to 35s and see how that goes.
35s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. I guess I'm gonna try and do forties. Can't say I'm gonna get ten reps. Forty pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Listen, here's gonna be rough. This is my weaker. One, two. Fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back down to 30s. If I was in my 20s again and I had the same mentality that I have today, the same drive, the same passion, I would like to think that I would have really went far with bodybuilding. Especially if I'd not hurt my back. Sometimes it's fun to think back, and then sometimes it's not. So, let's get these 30s done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me think of my next exercise I'm gonna do for triceps and then I'll get right back with you, okay? We got one more exercise to do. Stick around. All right, for my final tricep move, I'm going to use the rope. I'm doing some lightweight press downs. I don't have a whole lot of memory card left, which scares the heck out of me. But uh, I've only got 50 pounds on there, so let's go ahead and get some done and we'll get done what we can. Alright guys, so since we're running out of memory card, we're going to go ahead and stop this long video. Uh, I may edit it up and chop it up, or I may just let it be one long video. I don't even know. Uh, there's some stuff in here that needs to be talked about and discussed. And you guys, please do that in the comments. And uh, Hope everybody has a good day, a good week. Make sure to be your best self every day, because tomorrow's not guaranteed. And that goes for everybody your loved ones, yourself, everyone. 
Uh, hope you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. Hope you got some inspiration from the workout. Hope you got a little inspiration, maybe a little bit of drive to see that, you know, we do all go through things and you can keep moving on with your daily life and uh, keep progressing and pushing yourself. You just have to, you have to get your mind and your thoughts all in order and uh, stay strong guys because this world will, uh, it'll beat you down. <laughs> you can go watch Rocky Balboa from several years back and uh, he does a very good speech in there, a couple of good speeches and uh, he can say it a whole lot better than I can. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Bite of Beat Down. I love you guys. Thanks for being there. Uh, to my subscribers, to my non-subscribers, to people who just, you know, browse around real quick. I appreciate it, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and inspire someone today, including yourself, because you mean more than anyone else in this world. Remember that. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!